of video. Today is the clean the kitchen with me episode. Last Saturday, we had a hot pot delivered to our place and uh, I haven't cleaned ever since. And you might also see my husband showing up and helping around the house. Let's start! First thing first, a good TV show and music playing in the background is a must for me while I'm cleaning. And now I'm taking the clean dishes from the dishwasher from last night out and put them in the cabinet. My husband is here making him a tuna sandwich for lunch. At this point he's not helping the cleaning yet. Drying racks are for the stuff that we hand washed, so I'm going to put the clean stuff from these two drying racks in the cabinet too. After putting away the clean dishes, and now I'm cleaning the dining table, I let the hot pot sit there for two days so the oil actually becomes solid, which turns out very easy for me to throw, to break the oil into pieces and then throw them away. Without the grease part in the hot pot soup, I can safely dump the rest into the sink. I'm just wiping down the table with an uh, all-purpose cleaner.
there are alcohol bottles and the sauce bottles all over on the counter. So now I'm putting the sauce bottles into the cabinet and the alcohol bottles upstairs. As of the counter cleaning, I'm doing the divide and the conquer approach. I'm going to clean the counter one piece at a time. I did record everything at the same time just by placing my camera at the different places having this weird lighting effect. I always complaining about not getting too much sunshine in Seattle. But even with a clear day, my house doesn't get enough sunlight.
your tree is always very greasy. I think it's because the oil bottle doesn't seal very good. I got them from West Elm for the look. I got this fruit bowl from IKEA. Normally, I would unbag the lime and put the fruit directly to the fruit bowl to make a very decent look. But you can see the lime would easily slip out from the hole on the bowl. Cleaning stove is the next part. So you can see I have three sections on my stove. We normally only use the right part of the stove. This actually benefits me when I'm cleaning. Time to summon your husband. Jesse knows that I don't like to touch the dirty dishes, so he is always the one who puts the dirty dishes into the dishwasher. And just for the record, normally I would do something else together while he's putting the dirty dishes away. Today I'm just filming.
and this is my coffee section. The reason I'm putting my stand-up mixer and uh, espresso machine here is because this is the only part of the counter that doesn't have an upper cabinet. As you can see, the upper cabinet are very close to my countertop, so this is the only place that I can fit these two machines here. I didn't take away these two machines before wiping down the counter only because they are too heavy to move. This is also my tea section. In China, teas are considered very benefited to your health. So there are all kinds of different type of teas and they all affect your body differently. stuff that we couldn't fit into the dishwasher or they're too delicate for the dishwasher so I'm working on washing them and then putting them on the drying racks now. recommend these silicone reusable zipper bags simply because they are so hard to wash so hard to making it dry I only put half used fresh vegetable in them but it's still a pain to wash them
is my last step cleaning the floor I don't have a Dyson vacuum cleaner but I got it several years ago when I still live in the apartment where it's all carpet and both me and my cat shed a lot so that one only has a cleaning head for carpet for animal hairs so I find that using a broom is actually very easy on hardwood floor So the key to how to make your husband helping you with the course is to find the stuff that he likes to do. I don't like doing chores. For example, he really likes vacuuming because he said he got to draw pictures while he's vacuuming. Taking care of the garden. No, you also got to wash the dishes. So? Got to. <laughs> I was forced. What do you want to say to the other husbands? Do what she says. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.